I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. Good morning from Choma in in Zambia. So guys, it is the Independence Day in Zambia and you're expecting to see a lot of celebrations here and there. I'm glad that I'm here on this particular day so that I can see how the Zambians celebrate. So today we are in Choma, somewhere between Lusaka and Livingstone and we are heading towards Livingstone where there is the Victoria Falls and I'm so excited. We've had a delicious breakfast, but in Zambia we've noticed that breakfast it's not as generously served as the ones in Tanzania or Uganda. So it's just like Kenya, bread, eggs, and tea. So that one will tashkilia tumbo. Keep our stomachs busy as we wait for lunch. But for now, we are just finishing up packing, and then we head towards Vic, uh, Livingstone. Adia, what do you expect in Livingstone? I can see you already have your... She already has her My raincoat. Yeah, this is the raincoat. I cannot wait to see the Victoria Falls. Uh -huh. It I is one of the wonders of the world. Yes. So I we are here for it. Pure magic. Pure magic. Pure magic. <laughs> I can't really explain. Let's just go and see. Let me. I, this is what I think. I'm not going to put any standards of expectation. I just want to be surprised. And it's good to see the wonder, the wonder of the world in Zambia on Independence Day. I don't know how Zambians celebrate their holidays, mm -hmm. but we are glad you are here. Because they seem to be very modest people. They don't, they don't seem like they are out there. They are like mm -hmm. hyper like Kenyans. They are, <laughs> they are a bit low-key. They are, they are a bit modest. We will see. We will see. We will see. But meanwhile, from Lusaka, we missed out on a couple of towns. Uh, beautiful towns, beautiful terrain. We hope you'll be able to see a few of them uh, before we get to Livingstone. Morning. Morning, Chito. How did you sleep? Ah, nice. I slept well. The bed is so comfortable. So welcome to Prestige Choma in Zambia. Hey. <laughs> so we are preparing, we are finishing up packing. Right now it's around, uh, around 6.30. Vincent, morning. Yes, morning to you. Uh -huh. How was your night? Wow, I think I slept well today. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> I didn't want to wake up, but then uh -huh. I have to. <laughs> you should wake up because you're going to see one of the wonders of the world. Yes, that's the reason why I'm up today. <laughs> so this is where I slept. It is a bit disorganized, but you get it. The bed is disorganized, just understand. And then there is the fan here, a mirror. If you'd like to watch TV, there it is. And a mini fridge. It is quite a special space. And then you have the bathroom. It has a really hot water, but you can regulate it, of course. And on this side is the toilet. Let me see. Yes, this is the toilet. So it is some very clean space if you pass by. If you cannot manage to get to Livingstone and you have to stay somewhere, you should consider this place. But under one condition, carry your mosquito repellent. In the evening, there seem to be a lot of mosquitoes. So have that in mind. I'm just here to do a sweep. A sweep is confirming that we've not left anything. But this is how the outside looks. Beautiful garden. As if you're joining me for the first time, I'm Liv Kenya and I'm traveling with my five other travelers who are also my friends. Uh, others are just acquired friends we've met in several trips and they are new friends. So if you'd like to join us in a, in a similar trip, uh, just stay tuned on my social media platforms. I'll announce. And we are heading towards South Africa. And this is Victor. Good morning from Choma in 
Southern Zambia. <laughs> no, you see, these words are hard to to do what to remember. It's my first time here. By the way, this is a lovely place. So, and we're heading to Livingstone, the home to Victoria Falls. So, yes. I hope it's going to be worth it. It's you know, it's one of the wonders of the world. Ah. Yes. Wow. So we are about to have a a moment in our lives. Moment of a life. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, so, so, so let's let's go. They are telling us we are supposed oh, to there go. There are so many names by the way. We've come we've gone to so many towns, you, at times you even get confused. Yes. <laughs> so most of the Zambian lodges look like this. They're just bungalows with many rooms in different directions. We're in Choma town and most most shops are closed because it's a holiday so I'm hoping I'll get somewhere where Z Zambians are are actually celebrating their holiday I would really like to see how they celebrate their holiday please consider subscribing to this channel because we are we like adventure we do crazy road trips like these ones <laughs> and this is our road trip from Nairobi all the way to South Africa so far right, this is our third country we have passed Tanzania and we are now in Zambia and so far I would tell you guys that Zambia Zambia is full of contrasts there are places where it is so flat you will think there is nothing but on our way from Lusaka to Choma we passed by at night but there were some hills here and there beautiful terrain but because it's at night of course the camera could not show it so clearly we do not have a camera that has a night vision but other than that i would say zambian people are very nice people they're just the typical african people most african countries in most african countries people are really nice they're just kind it's the african way and uh, they love meat the southern part of africa is just full of people who love their meat i still have my snack here this is smoked and sun-dried meat and you just eat it as a snack I'm eating it slowly until when I get to South Africa I'm told there is more delicious ones in South Africa and I'll be trying it the living standard of the people is not the same I would say in Kenya they are more middle class than in Zambia in Zambia there is like the contrast like I said the contrast the very rich and the very poor the middle class are very few they have the same colors as Kenya they have green red and black but the other one that looks like it's like orangish brown it represents mineral so i think copper plays a very big part in the economy the whole northern part is arable land but there's very little farming that is why even food is very expensive in zambia but other than that we are staying we are enjoying our stay in zambia it is just one of those countries we were planning on just passing through but it looks like we are really enjoying it that is why we are still here even tonight even today far we've not had any problem with the car um, the only problem we had was in the, with the air conditioning and we fixed it back in Lusaka so we are ready for Namibia uh, because most of you usually ask how the car is performing but usually we do a thorough service before we leave we are usually very keen to, to confirm if even as we are driving if there is any, any, an, any unusual, unusual sound any unusual behavior in the car we usually check it just to confirm that everything is in order but it would it is best that you do thorough service with your car so that even if there'll be a small technical hitch it will just be a small one not a major one on the road because you don't want to be looking for mechanics on the road you'll get quirks others even if you get good good mechanics they will overprice things if you have to buy stuff you don't know if they are genuine or they are they, there's just a lot of complication with not being prepared so always remember that so Everyone is back.
tomatoes and oranges and onions. Now, unfortunately, once you cross over to Botswana, you're not allowed to carry fresh produce. Look at how much. Yeah, it's plenty. I hope the prices are good. We might have to wait until when we'll be returning is when we can buy some, some vegetables and fruits. Welcome to Kaloma. It's actually a town. It's not a center, it's a town. Today you see, you see, you see that all the flags are up. It's indeed a holiday. Now I've seen so many signposts of seed company. There is this seed company. There are many other seed companies around uh, Zambia. I think there are many, many, many seed companies because because of farming, vast farming in Zambia. So there are so many companies that do research to find out which is the best crop to grow in Zambia. And they have enough space to fight, to do research. They have plenty of farm. This is Colomo Bridge and below it is Colomo River. Colomo River feeds into Zambezi River. It appears to be a seasonal river because there is no water. kind of celebration it's too silent you need to make a lot of noise it's a big deal they, yeah. they're too modest eh? they're too modest you need to blow those bubzellas and really celebrate it the african way by dancing and singing and shouting yeah, and blocking roads <laughs> <laughs> yes but this, they are too disciplined they're just walking by the side of the road imagine As carrying a, banners i imagine zambians that's not the african way <laughs> the African way is a lot of noise, a lot of dance, a lot of music. But let's see, the, those ones we've seen, they are mostly students. Now let's see how the adults celebrate the holiday. So we are five kilometers to our seventh toll station and in each station we've been paying 20 watchers so we were told that there'll be only seven seven toll stations let's see if there'll be more than seven station seven toll stations because we've already paid 120 quarter that's a lot of money we are in musoko hey kb musoko twanet toll plaza it's supposed to be our very last toll plaza. Mama, I made it! We are 12 kilometers to the... Victoria Falls. It's called the Mosi Watunya. That is the, the Zambian way. I don't know which tribe that is, but oh my god, I feel so good. I'm this close to one of the wonders of the world. That is how big Victoria Falls is. Mali Mama, Zapa I would really like to use that word. But my math teachers were really good. So thank you, math teachers. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I listened to your class. <laughs> I listened to your lessons and here I am. Yay! So this place, by the way, is a very nice place to take photos. But now there's a problem. There are plenty of flies. We are thinking there is a ranch nearby, but there are plenty of plenty of flies. By the time we even pause and get a good photo. Wah! Flies, what is happening here? Living 
last one. You know, usually you have so many things in your bucket list. This has just been one of them. You have to see all the wonders of the world, especially the ones in Africa. We have to see them. Here is the port light structure that Adi was talking about. What is it? What is it? It looks like a water a water tank. Yeah, it's a water tank. Our Lady Parish. Wow, it's a charge. Wow. Food Palace in Livingstone, Zambia. Yes, the home of the Great Victoria Falls. So we are here. We are going to get. Uh, we are checking out the menu, and we, as, we, as we said before, in Zambia food is expensive. Look, just look at this. That's a lot of money. It's quite expensive, but I'm having curry chicken instead of nshima. Nshima is, is Ugali. Instead of nshima, I'm having chapati, and we've been told that the substitute for nshima is three chapatis. We've been promised that the chapati is good. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> After this, we'll do us. So we'll try to do some activities in Livingstone because we have to leave tomorrow. So we have a couple of activities that we've selected that we're going to do, and we'll see how it goes. How does it taste, Adia? It's yummy. It's what what Indians would call roti. It has very little oil. Little oil, very healthy. You could eat a thousand. I think it really won't be enough. I'll add some more. And this is our favorite. It is 80 kwacha and it's worth it. It, it looks like the quantity is really good. But how is the taste? But when she made one, I taste You can still add. So guys, just look at the temperatures. Right now it's 42 degrees Celsius and that is after I have turned on the, the air conditioning. It was 44 degrees Celsius in Livingstone. Where? Livingstone, you want to kill us? We are literally melting. <laughs> it is so hot. Now let's go to the Victoria Waterfalls. At least there I'm sure we'll get, they'll be, we'll get some cool breeze. Ooh. I can't wait to even swim in it. We're sweating. This hot is excruciating. I would say Livingstone is the touristic town in Zambia. I think followed by Lusaka. And from what I think, I've not read that anywhere, but I think Livingstone is also the second largest city after <laughs> Lusaka. So right now we are so full and the heat outside is just too much. We're even confused on what, how to handle the heat. It's been quite some time since the last time I ever went to a place where it was 40 degrees Celsius, surely. The most common supermarket here is ShopRite. And let's just, let me tell you guys, do you know why I keep saying ShopRite, ShopRite, I love ShopRite. It was a, it was a franchise that was in Kenya, I don't, I don't know what happened, and then it, they just left Kenya. And now the, 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 the loyal customers were stuck. And stranded. We didn't know what to do. Now if we come to the southern side of Africa and we see ShopRite, we're usually excited. So I'm here, I'm here to just check out what is in the spa, in the in the supermarket that is not in that we cannot find in Kenya. Okay, we've just Googled and confirmed that it is the ninth largest. Yet I thought it was the second largest. <laughs> it is the ninth largest, but I think it is the touristic town in in Zambia for sure. So guys, this is part of Zambezi River and we are heading towards the waterfall but this is just the Zambezi River flowing in that direction. And there are a couple of islands in, in the middle there. I think some people are going to check them out.
So the local people come here. You can see there are several cars. Local people come here to enjoy the breeze of the of the of the river. You see those ones out there. They are being taken to the different islands that are within the river. The, the water is a bit calm. I think I can even cross over as long as it's not so deep. But it doesn't it doesn't look dangerous. But quiet waters run deeper. And then there is this guy right behind me. Yes, he camped here and he's traveling using a bicycle. I'm telling you, backpacking is a, is is <laughs> hey, backpacking is a thing. I don't. I'm not sure if I can do that with a bicycle, but. So we are entering Zimbabwe to see the Victoria Falls uh, from the Zimbabwean side. Yeah, so join us. Yeah, so what does Mosia Tunya mean? The smoke that thunders. Smoke? Yeah. The smoke that thunders. That thunder, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, in March, April, May, mm -hmm. that would be water. That's Zambian side. So those friends of yours, when they go in, they walk on that small bridge, then they walk around there, then they go back. That's Zambian side. So for you, Zimbabwe, when you are in Zimbabwe, you are going to walk from that side going all the way that side. So Zambia is that side, Zimbabwe is this side. And inside, there is a part which is called the boiling point. You see where those people are? There is a trail where I start from up there, you can walk all the way down there. What's your experience so far in Victoria Falls? Well, this has exceeded my expectations uh -huh. because I have visited the Thompson Falls in uh, Nyahururu. Nyahururu 
but what we have seen previously cannot be compared to this one. I think Victoria Falls, as they say, is such a world wonder and everyone should plan to visit it at least once in their lifetime. I wish someone sold some refreshments in here yeah. because you are melting. I'm dehydrated. I am panting. Let me join. But that view behind us is the catch. It's worth it. It's totally worth it. Adia, hmm? how much fun is this? I'm sick and tired from giving up. <laughs> but then I've come so Ah, we are, we are so close. Look at that guy over there kayaking. This is so magical. Look at that. Hey, let me bring it up close. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Now, now, this is the reason I came here. You can see that person is from bad jumping. Oh my god, this is why I came here. Wow. Look at Adia, she's literally showering in the river Zambezi. <laughs> Quick tip, when you come here, carry a swimming costume, dress as lightly as possible. There's some pools down there, you can soak in and enjoy the day. And please do come in the morning, so you can soak the whole day and enjoy. By the way, they usually, the say, they usually say you come either very early in the morning or late in the evening. Yes. Why do you think they say so? Because of the heat. Eh. It really gets really bad Until in the afternoon. The grease. It was crazy. What's that? Oh, it's a stick. Okay, you almost scared me there. Look at you. Okay. Myself in here. The rest of us have also poured some water on ourselves. We look like we've been sweating, but it's water. We got down here and then you are like, we should have carried our swimming costumes. And don't overdress. Don't overdress, but if you can, wear some hiking shoes. And dress as simply as possible. You, when you come here by the way, you'll realize like the way I'm dressed like this, I'm overdressed. People are walking around with their swimming costumes. Or booty shorts. Oh yes, booty shorts, like bra tops, those kinds of things. Men are just walking with their chest bare. Because it's so hot, the video will not give it will not do it justice, but you just need to come and see it by yourself. By the way, you guys, Victoria Falls is not overrated. It is as good as they say it is. And imagine it come when the water is very there is very little water. So imagine when there is floods and floods of water. It is not overrated. Come and see it. So listen, we are we are the majority. We are the majority. The people in the north. Yes. 
where the majority we we cut off for about uh, my tribe, mm -hmm. I'm Bemba. Mm -hmm. My tribe covers about 12% of Zambia's population. Mm -hmm. Just one tribe out of 70, Eight. 75 oh, tribes. Mm -hmm. One tribe has, so we are the majorities. We've always had uh, a hand in governance, in what, in everything. Mm -hmm. Health, politics, what, we are the majorities. Mm -hmm. But we are all not in our land. Everyone what has done, left. Everyone has moved away to bring development to the entire part of what we've done except personally, your home personally why my land is not developed and we want it that way the entire zambia has been ravaged by foreigners we don't sell land to foreigners in my village we don't mm -hmm. everything is maintained our chief's palace is so natural and and so most of the people are still poor mm -hmm. than they are but we are one of could be the richest, the second richest tribe. Tongas are rich. Mm -hmm. These folks on the coast are very rich. So guys, we are going to check out an accommodation. We've come across a very nice guy. He's called Peter. He's told us a lot about Zambia. And he, he has explained to us why the economy in Zambia is not so good. The ladies went to the Zambian side of the Victoria Falls. The guys went to the Zambian side of Lake Victoria, Zimbabwe side of Lake Victoria. And the ladies went to the Zambian side of Lake Victoria. So we've been, we've been uh, comparing and everyone is like, our side is the best, our side was the best. Now, tomorrow early in the morning, we are going to exchange. The ladies are going to the Zimbabwe side and then the guys are going to the, to, to, to the Zambian side. And then after we've seen both sides, we'll let you guys know which side is best. We are here in, it's called Miramba. Miramba Camp. Miran, Miramba Camp or something. We are coming to see if we can get some space for, oops, for, for camping. Huh? Let's hope we'll get something friendly. Crossing fingers, something that is within our budget and a decent place. We haven't left Zambia yet, but we intend to leave Zambia today. And yesterday we went to Victoria Falls in the Zambian side. We walked for hours and hours. It was so hot and I would recommend uh, that if you want to go there, go either very late in the evening or very early in the morning because the sun there is scorching. It's scorching hot, but not the evening because the boiling pot will be closed by 4.30. Yes, yes, yes. So they need to, maybe in the morning. Yes, go in the morning because the boiling pot uh, gets closed quite early. And it's because there have, there have been accidents. In fact, there was a, a, a fatal accident in the boiling pot a few weeks ago. 
that is why it is restricted. By the way, we are on our road trip from Nairobi all the way to Cape Town. We are not yet in South Africa, but we are still on our way. This is country number two. From Kenya, we went to Tanzania and now we are in Zambia. But we intend to, oh, and we actually, and we intend to cross over to Botswana. But first, we have to go to Zimbabwe so that we can check out the Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe site and, and confirm whether it is as good as they say it is. The guys yesterday told us that it was so magical and we want to confirm that. Today we are having a proper English breakfast. Cereals, some fruits here, there's some juice and then eggs. English breakfast. This is the first time we are having like a proper breakfast in Zambia, right? The very first time we are having a, a proper breakfast. So after this, we are going to see the others. They are going to Zimbabwe. Yay! Two more stamps on our passports. We have to see how Victoria Falls look on the Zimbabwe side. That is the ladies only. The guys decided that they are not going to the Zambia side. So it's on them. <laughs> We've already stamped our passport at the exit point in Zambia. We're walking through the no man's land to the Zimbabwe side so that we can also have our passport stamped for entry into Zimbabwe. The only way you can access the, uh, Victoria Falls is through the bridge. Yes, yes. And you have to get your, your passport stamped. So you need to know that. Where it is? Mm, but like we said, mm -hmm. nylots. Hey, you can't ask. You can't. There is the bridge over there. One of the biggest gorges I've ever seen. There is the zip line from this side all the way to the other side. Idea, first impressions. Of course, I love this bridge and the view of the gorges mm -hmm. i love the view of the bridge from the zambia yeah, side, the side yeah. yeah but here you get to see the gorge well much much better look at that <laughs> adia come and take a photo of me in this train oh. yes, there's someone kayaking and then someone others are rafting Oh my god, look at that. Ah, wait for wait for the for the for the rapid waters. Ah, yeah. Jen. Oh, ah, look at that. Ah. <laughs> so after the bridge, we are still walking. We've been told it is 300 meters away. <sighs> the day has just begun with all this walking and sweating. And the sun is scorching hot. Oh my goodness. But it's a good thing. By the way, if you want to come to this other side, it's a good thing that you walk through the bridge. Just walk through the bridge and then when you return, you can use a taxi. There are a lot of activities you can do in Livingstone uh -huh. if you have a limitless budget. Yes. One of them is take the steam train. Oh my, we've tour. seen it cross the road and it is beautiful. <laughs> it takes you right from the waterfalls to the to national park. You get to see the, the animals. Park. And it's two hundred dollars for four hours. It's they, they said from 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 four pm from four pm to, to eight pm for two hundred dollars per person. And you like alcohol? And yes. oh, and, and there is limitless, limitless. alcohol yes. for you in there. It's like a VIP experience, <laughs> like a, a mini a mini road trip using the robots. <laughs> Uh, it, even the people who come with the robots, they have that experience. That is why I really I could identify the the steam engine. But 400, uh, 200 dollars is way above our budget. But if you can afford it, it's worth it. Yeah. We also have the sunset cruise. Mm -hmm. We came in a bit late. We took too much time at the waterfall. Mm -hmm. So normally the, the sunset cruise begins at five. Yeah. And you have to book in advance. You have to book in advance. It's seventy five dollars per person. And again with the alcohol, limitless, limitless. especially the beer. Bottles of beer. Especially the beer. Yes. 
Kenyans. I know you love your beers and your alcohol. You should consider that. Yes. Like you can do that person. Sunset cruise magical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually the people who make who, who take advantage of it, actually people who actually benefit and utilize their money properly are people who drink. Yeah. But for some of us who do not <laughs> you have a limited number of cocktails. you only you yes, only take. five. Only five. Imagine. And the rest can take a thousand bottles of Yes, milk. as much as you want. As long as you can take that within that short time, four hours. You're lucky. By all means. Hi guys, we made it to Zimbabwe. An hour later. An hour later. <laughs> we got a, we got a queue at the immigration, but it it went very fast, right? Yeah. Uh, let's continue. I so, think our delay was because of taking pictures of the bridge and the gorge. But it's quite seamless at the border. Yes, and then once you get in, you just follow the walking track. And here we are. Guys came yesterday evening and told us you guys have to see that there is where the the real one of the world is and then we were like we have to come to this side yeah, the pressure was getting worse the, the pressure got worse <laughs> <laughs> and there are so many tourists here Just look at that, it's raining on this side. Look at that. Hey. Hey, this is such a wonder. Oh my god, this is now the place where you can see them from all sides. Oh my god. Wow, look at all that mist. This is insane. This is insane. Oh my god, look at that. What? Wow. 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 Imagine how this place looks during the rainy during season. During the rainy season, March and August. March and, yes, it's insane. It must be insane. Yeah, the people going to the Cold Devil's Pool. Oh my god. Oh, Napale. One after another. See that steam over there? Over there? It's a way of pulling the place. This is good work. It's good, right? It's the like details. You're, you're actually looking at the it's, real thing. Yeah. It's, 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 like it's just like a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that good. She's that good. Wow. So it's Nicole Sanson. She's on Facebook. She's on Facebook. Right? This is so nice. It's five dollars to refill water. Now entering Zambia. Yes, official. 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 Guys, this is where we stayed. Let me see if I can I can show you one of the rooms. So there is a study table there. There's a double bed here. But in some rooms, the beds are like two single beds. And then there is this here. There is a mini fridge. This is how the room looks. It's a very spacious room, very comfortable bed, by the way. And then there is this wardrobe here. And then you see that air conditioning there? It works. It works as nice. I just love their roof. Their roofs are so high, so they, it makes the place very cool. 
this is the bathroom it's a simple bathroom but it has warm water if you like warm water to bathe there we go i love these soaps they're herbal soaps and they're very very nice i really love these soaps then you have a mirror there and then here's the bathroom uh, i think it's worth every coin we paid around 620 uh, quarters for each room so we took like three rooms and uh, yeah i think it was worth it the breakfast was the continental breakfast the english breakfast i'm so full till now and remember i'm showing you this this room tour after i'm from victoria falls so it was the, the breakfast was quite heavy this is the aisle their roofs look almost similar to the to the ugandan traditional houses because you can see they have used this kind of straws in fact we asked them if they had imported the straws from uganda but they said they have them as well and then here is the lounge place we are back and we've experienced both sides, the Zambia side and the Zimbabwe side. Now, Adia, say about something about the Zambia side. I don't <laughs> want to appear like I'm biased. Okay. There's the thrill. The, both places are magical, but they offer different things. Different things. It's okay. Vi it's Victoria Falls, but it's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. The Zambia side, there's no water at the moment. Like you said, if you want to really enjoy the Victoria Falls, come between march and august yes. because the rainfall will be higher at mm -hmm. that time so the zambian side has no water but you'll get to enjoy the, the gorge the formations the boiling pot there's actually some small small wells down yes. there yes when that's... you go to the boiling pot where you can just get water massage yes as much as it's hot there are plenty of water there's, there's waters all over like small streams where you can just take some water pour on yourself and continue with the journey mm -hmm. the rainy season you don't have to go to the zimbabwe side to be honest because there will be waterfalls all over if you have to do all those activities that are done it's which is mostly in the, Zam in the, in the zambia, zambia side. side yes even the um, sunset cruise the sunset cruise the devil's pool even the bungee even, even the bungee even the bungee you actually the, just need a, a gate yes, pass to go to, to go, go to the, the bridge, bridge. Yes. yes you'll be able to see uh, the bridge clearly on the zambian side but when you go to the zimbabwe side now you get to see the actual if you come during the dry season like we have you will see the actual victoria falls you you see all those steam that you usually see like water droplets in the air you will experience that you'll be able to see the gorge and the formations yes but if i still compare the two this will be a very unpopular opinion if I have to compare the two, yeah. I would still go to the Zambian side. The guys think that the Zambian side, the Zimbabwe side is good because they've only gone to the Zimbabwe side. They don't but the ladies have gone to both sides. The Zambian side is the best. It has everything, but the catch is calm during the rainy season. And also the Zimbabwe side is very expensive, $50. $50 and during peak season, they said it goes up to $70. Wow. The and you won't even get to go to the boiling pot. Yeah, you don't get to go to the boiling pot. And and the, the locals pay seven dollars and then the people in all, all the people in the Sadiq countries they pay around thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. But it could go higher depending on the season. Mm -hmm. But in the Zambia side it is much cheaper. It was how much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars per head. So it is cheaper and you get to hike, you get to experience you get even to touch the water. In the other side you just get the droplets. But in Zambia side, you get to touch the water. Go down there, yes. touch the water. You can even kayak. Yes, you, you can, can do, do kayaking. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually saw so many people doing rafting and 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 the kayak in the rapid waters and also in the cool waters. And it has the best views, I would say. It has the best view of the gorge and the whole formation and everything else, apart from the water when there is dry season. But when there is it is a rainy season you'll see even the best view of the, of the waterfalls because it has the biggest side the longest side of uh, the Zambe of the zambezi river and the victoria falls is in the in the zambia the side Zamb yeah. so i would still say come during the rainy season but 
consider consider Zambia Zambia, consider Zambia. Yes. but if you're coming at the dry season, season you, you could, could do both you could do both to just get the experience of the water because yeah. it's, it's it's really exciting you, you know usually uh, the, the guys really love the water but for us we love the water but we love the entire formation of the gorge we love the the geography behind it mm -hmm. yeah so for now Zambia has my boat mine too yeah, I think it, all the ladies can say that <laughs> because we've seen both we can compare yes. the guys cannot compare They have not been to the other side. It's around noon. We are going to have our lunch and then we Go towards the Botswana side Because we have to cross over we are on we are, okay, we're behind, we're behind schedule. Yes, but we do not regret it because it was worth it Everything about Victoria Fall is worth it Yes. Let nobody tell you that it's all, oh, it's the Victoria Falls, it's just like any other fall, everyone goes there. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes there for a reason. Go and experience it. It is magical. And that is one of the reasons why you need to subscribe to this channel, by the way. If you haven't, you're missing out. In the next episode, we'll be crossing over to Botswana. This will be our fourth country since we began this road trip. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks. And please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard and please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more awesome content coming through. Bye!